Hi and welcome to this new video. In this case we are going to do a video explaining how to rotify the, the wheels commands for your jetbot so that you can move it through command vel and not through the, the um, just move forward uh, left right and backwards. Yeah? And we will be doing it connecting remotely to a, a jetbot that it's in another total, totally different location. So before we start, just remind you that um, I have my new uh, ROS developer file here. So uh, if you're so kind and want to be in touch and updated with all the new ROS checks that I do, uh, please follow me in ROS Development Studio. And that's it. And if you want to share your ROS checks and your fantastic projects, use ROS developer profiles so that you can uh, show to the world your work, which is very cool, always, yeah? So, without further ado, let's dive in. So, uh, let's have a look on how we are going to do that. So, I created this, this Git, which uh, essentially has all the code, so I link it in the video description, so you can download it and use it in your jetbots. And... Let's have a look to the code. So let me, there we go. So essentially what we have here is the IgnisBot move package, uh, which I created here. And we have several uh, scripts. These, this script is to do interface with a server hat that we might talk about in, in further videos, if you're interested which is to control servos through uh, Jetson Nano. It's a hat that is compatible with Raspberry Pi also, and is this hat here, if you're interested. I leave the link in the video description. And, uh, but we're not going to talk about this one. We're going to talk about uh, ignition wheels, which essentially what it does is get the, the class uh, robot, which is in the Jetbot module, which you can download and install by pip install jetbot. And here what we're doing is creating a class which interfaces with robot. And if we go a bit... So here what it does is essentially use that class to make it a bit simpler. So that we have commands like stop, go forward, and, and that's it. And then we process that command well in a way that it's understandable for these commands. So this ignisbot wheels, this wheels object is used here in this main script, which uses what I've talked about, the servo module and this robot uh, wheels uh, class. So here, let me, so here, what we are doing is initialize this ignisbot move. So we use this class here. So main start ROS loop, which is ignisbot move. And we start that and then we spin. And we have, we initialize all the classes. What we are interested in basically is these this wheels yeah so this wheels class will be called when we get a command vel and here we see the subscriber to the command vel and if we go to this class uh, sorry to this method here we are calling essentially this object which is ignisbot wheels object and we are passing the linear and the angular and we are dividing it by the command vel factor that it's we can find it up here so how much we reduce it yeah and that's because uh, command vel by default are really high when we use for example uh, the ros run teleop which we are going to use in a minute and 
that's why I use this but it's not necessary you just have to adjust the the speed uh, in the command bell it's just to avoid problems uh, and that's quite it so it's really really simple so each time that we get a new message from command bell it just uh, publishes in this in this class and gives this parameters and it moves the wheels through the robot the the jetbot robot class so really really simple this is a very simple uh, example but i think it's a neat utility feature that um, helps so how do we use it so we have to go to uh, we open a terminal and i've established already a connection to the robot uh, so I'm able to do SSH and have all the systems running so in my case I've launched a ROS core and then I've run and executed this ROS run ignisbot move package ignisbot move.py and when it says ignisbot move ready it's ready to move very simple so once we have that, we we can do whatever we want. So I've I've established a, a VPN connection. So if we want to be able to see it from our, our computer, from ROS Development Studio, we have to execute these three commands, which allows us to do this ROS topic uh, ROS topic list. And we can see all the, the topics that are in the robot. So these topics are not in this computer because in this computer we don't have any simulation, we don't have any robot. And what, what we're seeing is the topics published by the robot. Uh, and for that, quite simple actually. So we just have to execute this run, ROS run teleoptist keyboard. There we go. Now we lower a bit the speed because it's really high for the robot. And then we press forward, backwards, left, right, for example. And we're going to do this demo. For this demo, I will need the help of Rodrigo. So Rodrigo is a fantastic guy. He's going to help me and he's in a different location. So I'm, I'm at home now because of the situation and, and he's in the office. So he's going to record the movements that I generate from here. Yeah, so let's start. So let's go forward. Then we turn. Then we turn again. And then we go backwards. And that's it. So really, really simple, but you can see that um, you can see that using ROS Development Studio, you have the things already prepared, and also you can uh, have an example of how we can do this, how we can move the robot through command belt, and that's it. So thanks a lot. Please remember to follow me on on my profile to see all the latest projects that I I do throughout the weeks and be be free to share your own um, profile to see i would love to see your projects yeah so see you and thanks a lot peace Mm-hmm. <laughs>